again, you were tuned in and computer says no, 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 no. This is episode seven in my series. It's the final episode of the series on stack-based buffer overflow exploitation. Um, I'm getting a bit silly. It's really hot in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going mad to tell you the truth. Um, we're in Kali Linux at the moment, so let's get into it. We're going to generate some shell code. Uh, we're going to throw that in our script. We're going to fire it across the wire and hopefully get ourselves a reverse shell. Um, and that'll be it. We would have uh, conquered uh, what we set out to achieve. So, excellent. Here is the command in MSF Venom that you want to type in if you are following along. So it's MSF Venom dash P for payload, Windows, shell underscore, reverse, TCP. Uh, set our local host to... Well, in my case, I believe it's if config to uh, check the IP. Yeah, my, my IP on my local subnet here is uh, 10.0.3.5. So yours will be different, potentially, most probably. I'll set my local port to uh, 9999. And I'm going to encode this as x86 slash Shikara ga nai, or however it's pronounced. Hopefully I pronounced that somewhat close to its intended pronunciation. Uh, dash F for format and Pi for Python. Dash B to specify our bad characters, uh, the null character and the zero A char uh, character. And dash V to get it uh, so we can specify a variable name um, in that Python output. And I'm gonna ask it to be called shellcode so I'm going to hit enter on that. And uh, you know what? I'm also going to hit control C and cancel it because I have one I prepared earlier. It takes a little longer than I'd like it to on this VM. So I'm going to copy that and minimize that. And open up this script. Maximize it there. And we'll paste the shellcode in. That's looking pretty good. So we've got our A's, our jump ESP instruction, and our NOP sled. Shell underscore code. I'm going to save that. So um, I'll just get everything on the one screen here for uh, for your sake. If you are following along at home. Have a look at that. One last look. Pause the screen if you need to. Um, I assume everything is going to work <laughs> correctly for me. So um, here's hoping it does. Pause the screen and um, fix any errors that you might have. Because I'm going to send this one across the wire. All right, guys, so what we need to do also is set up a listener. So we're gonna use netcat with uh, dash n uh, VLP to uh, listen verbosely on port 999. So netcat is listening. And we're gonna go Python script to fire off the script. But what I might do is get both of my uh, VMs up on the screen at once. So here we are, guys, with both of the VMs uh, displayed on the video at once. On the right-hand side, we have Windows 10 with immunity bug, uh, debugger in it. Um, it is running fine. Do stack buffer overflow good uh, is uh, listening for a connection. So we'll open that up, let that sit on top. Uh, again, I've got the netcat listener on port 9999. The Python script is ready to fire off and hey, here's open. <sighs> ah, connection refused. You know what? We didn't change the IP address. Well spotted. <laughs> Did anyone else spot that? Uh, let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Um, 
It's a good question. Wow, what a rookie error. So IP config, guys, in the Windows machine to get the IP of the uh, machine we're going to attack. Ten dot zero dot three dot three dot seven. I'm leaving that in. I could not be bothered to do another take uh, or edit that out. These things happen, guys. It's just the way it is. Um, so let's try that one again, hey? Payload has been sent. Sending, sending, sending. Come on now, I'm starting to get nervous. Hey, there we go. Wow, I was getting nervous, how about you? <laughs> there you go, and we can see that the service is actually still running. Um, so yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, we do see here that the send has, has failed, um, I guess, uh, yeah, so it received 532 bytes from us, but it's saying the send failed. It tried to send, uh, you know, what, 10,038 bytes back to us. Um, obviously, there lay the uh, overflow. And we have our shell down here in the, uh, in this terminal here. So we're on the desktop, if I say dir, you can see delete me text. And over here, uh, we have delete me text. So. Uh, Let's do just that. And she disappears. We do indeed have a shell, guys, um, from Kelly to that Windows 10 machine. So that is a buffer overflow, stack buffer overflow vulnerability being exploited with a reverse shell um, across the wire. How good is that? Uh, that was fun, but I'm hot and I'm sweaty and uh, I think my work is done here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series. I'll um, see you in another one. I hope to do some more shortly, maybe look at some more advanced stuff. But until then, hey, um, go hard, enjoy yourself, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.